In the built environment, we need to measure and compare energy use to support reducing environmental, social, and economic harms associated with excessive energy use. Energy management can reduce greenhouse gas emissions and achieve higher levels of operating energy performance. Whole building energy is tracked in ARC. At a minimum, measure the project's energy use on a monthly basis for 12 consecutive months. Use the 12 months of energy use data to obtain an energy performance score. The energy score lets you compare performance month over month and year over year, along with regional and global peers. Permanently install energy meters that measure total building energy consumption and ensure they are calibrated at recommended intervals. Using a location-based methodology, energy data entered into ARC is automatically converted to equivalent carbon emissions. Carbon emissions are the basis for the energy performance score. A building with a higher energy score indicates lower carbon emissions. A building with a perfect score reflects near net zero carbon emissions from the building. To add energy data to ARC, navigate to Credits and Actions, and then Data Input. You can add as many meters as needed by clicking on the gear icon in the top left corner. Meter types are either purchased from grid or generated on-site solar. Give the meter a name, select the appropriate units, and you're ready to get started adding data. Make sure you're not double counting consumption by adding submeters, which are already included in the main utility meter. When a new row of data is added, select a start and end date for the consumption amount. Once the consumption value is entered, click update to save your entry. Any rows added but not saved will display a notification to ensure you don't lose any unsaved work. In addition, you can upload any supporting documentation for the data, such as meter reading exports or utility bills. To delete a reading, simply click on the wastebasket. Deleting a reading will also delete any uploaded documentation for that reading. Once you have over 12 months of data in the platform, you may want to view historic data. To view time periods other than the most recent 12 months, select Filter, and then choose a date range to display. The selected date range will show any data and associated documentation which was provided. When new data is updated in ARC, the system immediately calculates a new score and displays it next to the individual category, as well as on the main score page. A renewable meter in ARC can help you track performance in relation to energy consumption from the grid. Since solar photovoltaic is a clean form of energy production, it has a carbon emission value of zero. This benefits the project by avoiding any grid-level consumption and associated carbon that would have been generated. In other words, ARC accounts for carbon directly generated and used in the service of operating the building. In addition to adding consumption data, one reading at a time, ARC allows for bulk data upload and data automation with platforms like Energy Star Portfolio Manager. Let's look at how bulk data upload and bulk meter creation would work in ARC. Start by downloading the ARC data template. On the Setup tab of the template, select the new meter type you want to add. In this case, we'll add an electric meter getting energy from the grid. If it's a meter type other than electricity, select other fuels or water. Note that tabs for carbon dioxide, total volatile organic compounds, and waste already exist as default tabs in the template. Once we've selected electricity as the meter type, click Add Meter and then name your new meter and click OK. Any new meter you create will appear as a new tab in the template with your new meter name. If you selected other fuel originally, take a moment to select the fuel type. Enter your bulk data information into the newly created meter in the template. Repeat this step for as many meters and types as needed. Now you're ready to upload these data to ARC Select Upload XLS and upload your completed template. ARC will create the meters and data automatically based on your upload. Let's look at how an integration with Energy Star Portfolio Manager can automatically sync energy and water data to ARC. Start by logging into your Energy Star account. You'll begin by adding your lead project ID to your Energy Star project, then share your account with ARC and finally, share your specific project and meters. Navigate to the project you wish to share, under Details, and then Unique Identifiers, select Edit. 
a drop-down will show a list of possible IDs. Select Lead Project ID and add the ID number. Make sure you click Save. Next, navigate to your contact list. Here, you will search for the ARC account so you can request a connection. Click Add Contact and search by the email address contact at arcscoru.com. You can also search by the ARC account name Lead Performance Reporting. Once you've found the account, select Connect to send an invite request. Once the ARC account accepts your request, you will receive an updated notification in Energy Star. During this account sharing step, if no results are returned when searching for contact at arcscoru.com or lead performance reporting, it's likely that our accounts are already connected. If that's the case, you can skip directly to the last step. The account sharing step only needs to be completed once. Future projects that wish to share energy and water data through Energy Star can skip directly to sharing the project and meters after adding the lead project ID. Once you receive a confirmation that the account sharing request has been accepted, you're ready to share the specific project and meters. Under Sharing, select Share or Edit Access to a property. Select the number of properties you wish to share and the property name. Make sure you've already added the lead project ID to any projects you wish to sync with ARC. Next, select the account you wish to share with, in this case, Lead Performance Reporting. Earlier, if you were unable to find contact at arcscoru.com or lead performance reporting as a contact, check here to see if we're already in your account list. Lastly, select Personalize Sharing and Exchange Data. Under the account name, you'll see an option for custom access. Selecting this option will bring up a list of meters on the project. Share all meters that you wish to sync with ARC. Make sure these are active meters with updated consumption data. Select No for Share Forward and click Apply Selection. Finally, you're ready to share the property. Within 24 to 48 hours, the meters and their associated data will display in ARC. Meters synced from Energy Star Portfolio Manager to ARC will display read-only data in ARC. Any data changes or updates must occur within Energy Star Portfolio Manager and should transfer to ARC within 24 to 48 hours. Make sure you don't delete a synced meter from ARC as deleting it will permanently interrupt the exchange for that meter only. If you accidentally deleted a synced meter, email contact at arcscoru.com to get it reinstated. Now that we've covered the ways to enter data into ARC, let's look at your energy score calculation. To calculate the carbon emissions, and an energy score in ARC, the following data are required. Annual energy consumption, gross floor area, weighted occupancy, weighted operating hours. Based on the data you add to ARC, the energy consumption is converted into equivalent greenhouse gas emissions using the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Regional Grid Mix Coefficients for U.S. and Canadian projects and National Grid Mix Coefficients from the International Energy Agency's CO2 Emissions from Fuel Combustion 2013 report. The grid mix coefficient values are kept up to date with the U.S. EPA and IEA release updates. The carbon emissions are converted into daily carbon emissions to generate the score. Now that you've added data into ARC, you can view and analyze your energy score. The total score page shows the sum total of all the weighted category scores. Clicking on the individual racetrack will take you to the associated category analytics page. Below the total weighted score, ARC displays the individual category on weighted scores and their associated global and local averages. Global averages represent all buildings in ARC around the world. Local averages represent projects within your state or province. For countries outside of the U.S. without states or provinces, local average represents the total country. These average scores may change over time as an increasing number of projects become active in ARC. On the navigation bar, category scores are further benchmarked. Each category score shows a racetrack view with three concentric unweighted scores. The outermost racetrack is the most current month score, the middle racetrack is last month's score, and the innermost racetrack is the score from one year prior. This benchmarking view shows your score at a glance and provides more context for your current score. Below the benchmarked view is the current weighted score for reference. 
Clicking on any of these graphics brings you to the relevant analytics category. Within the analytics category, you can review the last 12 months of score changes to get a complete picture of your performance. Additional analytic metrics are also included, such as metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per occupant per year, and metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per square foot per month. Lastly, performance improvement metrics highlight your project's pathway to score improvement based on the data in ARC. For a comprehensive score breakdown, which includes historic scores, ARC provides downloadable reports and data input. Under Settings, you can create a report by selecting a specific date range. This can include a recent time period or go back to the activation of the project in ARC. Once this report is created and downloaded, you can view all weighted category and total scores. Additionally, each score category has its own tab in the report, which shows the data in ARC for the time period initially selected for the report. Now that we've reviewed the energy category, score, and data input in detail, you're ready to take the next steps in generating your own energy performance score. Take a moment to review the information in the last module and update your project plan activity sheet with relevant information. Next, we'll take a deep dive into the performance score and data requirements for the water category.